Hello, welcome to our video on types of leads. In the previous video, we talked about how articles usually start with a headline, byline, and a lead. Headlines are the title of an article. The byline tells us who wrote the article, and the lead is the first paragraph. In this video, we'll talk about three types of leads, summary, anecdotal, and contrast. Let's start with the summary lead, as it's the most commonly used lead in news writing. Similar to the content of a news story, a summary lead presents just the facts, often the who, what, where, and when. Breaking news, or news that's happening right now, often uses a summary lead because it's important to get the information to the public in the quickest way possible, by putting the facts in the beginning. Let's look at an example of a summary lead. Prince William and Princess Kate introduced their daughter to the world as they left St. Mary's Hospital in London on Saturday. The tiny princess slept in her mother's arms during her first public appearance. The princess was delivered at 8.34 British Standard Time after a short labor. Prince William was in the room for the birth of the eight pound, three ounce baby. In this type of lead, it's clear what happened, who was involved, and where and when it occurred. The second type of lead is the anecdotal lead. An anecdote is a personal story. Therefore, an anecdotal lead grabs the attention of the reader or makes the reader interested in reading more by introducing a personal story of someone involved in an event. This type of lead is often used in human interest stories, but not as often in a news story. These types of leads attempt to make the reader emotional about an issue. Here's an example. Once again, Mark Klein took his tools so he could fix the floor of his house in Juneau, Alaska. This has been Mark's springtime routine for the last 20 years. As the snow and ice melt, it moves the ground beneath his home, and in recent years, he can tell it's getting worse. The Center for Cold Climate Housing says that Mark is not alone. The harsh effects of climate change are causing problems for at least 200,000 homes in the great state of Alaska. From this lead, the reader knows that this article will be about the effects of climate change. The third type of lead is the contrast lead. In this type of lead, the author uses opposite ideas or facts to grab the reader's attention. Here's an example. Ten years ago, Mark Zuckerberg was a college sophomore sleeping through his college days while staying up all night coding his little-known website, Face Smash. Today, Zuckerberg is worth $46 billion, and that website, now called Facebook, is one of the most popular social media sites in the world. The author contrasts Mark Zuckerberg's life before and after his success to try to excite the reader into reading the rest of the article. A contrast lead, similar to an anecdotal lead, is generally not used with news stories, but is used with investigative journalism or human interest stories. As you can see, the first paragraph in an article is oftentimes the most important. It's the first paragraph that helps the reader decide whether or not to read the entire article. In this video, we talked about three types of leads, summary, anecdotal, and contrast. In the next video, we'll talk about the process of writing a lead.